After Borderlands release, Gearbox batting average left a lot to be desired. The very next game they released was Duke Nukem Forever, which, I mean, come on. You don't need me to tell you that this game was shit. At least after this game, Gearbox cleaned up their act and didn't release any more garbage. You know, it seems like every time I say stuff like this, I'm always immediately proven wrong. Borderlands 2 was released in 2012. Oh shit, I wasn't actually wrong this time. This game's actually great. Gearbox would come back again in 2013 with Aliens Colonial Marines. Ah, uh, there's the punchline. I knew it was too good to be true. Yeah, this game was fucking awful too. Consider one of the worst games released in that decade. The following year, Gearbox released Borderlands Borderlands the pre-sequel. There was a really weird time in the early to mid 2010s where it seemed there were a ton of needless sequels of games that, while not bad, weren't very impactful or important. 2016 saw the release of Battleborn. This kid did okay for like a week or whatever, and then Overwatch came and the game completely disappeared. Gearbox released Borderlands 3 in 2019, which received relatively positive reviews. 